Barack Obama wasted no time in turning the recent Oregon school shooting into a political issue, calling for gun control, saying, It cannot be this easy for somebody who wants to inflict harm on other people to get his or her hands on a gun. He then rattled off a list of gun-free zones where shooters had inflicted damage, including Columbine, Blacksburg, Newtown, Aurora, and Charleston. In response to Obama's admission that gun-free zones don't work, Gun Owners of America Communications Director Eric Pratt said, Mr. President, you just identified the problem. Every public mass shooting since 1950, except for two, has occurred in a gun-free zone. This shooting is no different. And that is why Gun Owners of America agrees with the 86% of police officers who say that these types of incidents would be prevented if the potential victims were not disarmed. Obama's call for so-called common sense gun control is insane, given that the criminally minded don't obey the law. Apparently, Mr. Obama only wants criminals and terrorists and police officers to have guns on the streets. And don't be surprised if Obama calls for the disarmament of police officers, since he's already made a lot of military installations gun-free zones. Eric Pratt's concluding remarks on this matter was, Apparently, we have not learned the lesson of the 2012 Clackamas Mall shooting in Oregon. When a gunman began killing people in the mall, Nick Melly drew his concealed firearm and pointed it at the gunman, thus spooking him into taking his own life. Nick Melly was breaking the no guns policy at the mall, but there are many survivors who are glad he did. We must repeal gun-free zones.